Tiny is the new big, and the downsizing movement is here to stay. This is so cute. Don't underestimate these tiny abodes. Wow. Woo! Awesome. There's a washer dryer right here. The sky is the limit when going tiny. Okay. Oh, oh my god. It's crazy. Micro lofts, check. Oh, ow! Backcountry retreats, check. Beach getaways, check. Whatever your dream is, Tiny can take you there. It's all about the art of the hunt. In this episode, we're looking for a tiny bachelor pad in Asheville, North Carolina. Awesome, we made it. A sleek modern cabin. I could really see myself hanging here. This is amazing. <laughs> Combined with a showstopper in the heart of downtown. Do you think I can fit all my clothes in here? You have four shirts. And a converted historic mill. Ooh. <laughs> and you've got a fireplace. Oh, my gosh. Right. Leads to one giant decision. I just don't know what to do. This country boy is going tiny, and the hunt is on. <laughs> to Jeff, Asheville, North Carolina is nothing short of magic. You can't walk around Asheville without realizing there's something special going on. Basically, there's kind of a live and let live philosophy here. Musicians, artists, local farmers, everybody just seems to get along here. Being outside is a huge passion of mine. It's real important for me to find that time to decompress and unwind and experience nature. Jeff grew up in farm country just outside Nashville, Tennessee. He's always loved to travel and has backpacked his way through many of the world's top destinations. He even lived for a while in the Big Apple, but Asheville is where he wants to stay. Jeff works as a therapist in orthopedics. Feel that right there, there, yes. I love my work. It's amazing. I mean, I meet so many great people. Well, I'm a musician and I do a lot of hand drumming. I feel like Michael Jackson. <laughs> Jeff has some laughs after work, too. And how many roommates do you have? I've got a couple of roommates. How many is a couple? Yeah, I've been living with roommates to save money for a down payment. It's been fine, but definitely ready to find my own space. You may say it's time, but yeah. I mean, you have to actually do it, though. Yeah. Right, right. That's well, the thing. That's, this is my secret weapon, OK? You can make it happen. To keep him on track, Jeff has recruited his feisty friend and kayaking partner, Sarah. Ready to rock and roll? Yeah. I think I will ask some hard questions to Jeff. I think I will force him to make an actual decision and settle down. Ah, uh, water. And I'm not going to let him get away with anything. Yeah, I got the keys. You're not going anywhere without me. Jeff sees tiny living as an affordable alternative to the roommate routine, and Sarah's helped him refine his search parameters. So I'm looking for 500 square feet. Okay. Modern, close to downtown, at least a little bit of entertaining space, and a, hopefully a great kitchen. And a pony? <laughs> Sure, it them in the too. pony. Awesome, we made it. It's always looking good. What are you kind of hoping to spend on something like that? Hoping to stick around 165000 <sighs> Sounds tight. But I think I can make it happen. God bless him, but I think Jeff is completely unrealistic in his budget of $165,000 in downtown Asheville. The real estate market in Asheville is crazy right now. There's tons of buyers and not a whole lot of homes for sale, so it makes it a really tough market for buyers right now. Rachel gets the ball rolling with a tiny house that's squarely in downtown Asheville. Ah, oh, love the colors. Real masculine. Hey, guys. Hey, Rachel. Welcome to the birdhouse. It's a new So this one comes in right on target at 500 square feet. However, it is a little bit over budget at 175,000. Ooh, it's a little disappointing. Let's go bad. check it out. Yeah. Oh, oh, wow. Cool. This is really cool. Yeah. I like the colors, kind of makes the space seem bigger. What is this room? This is your living room. And then you've got your kitchen downstairs, and you've got your bedroom upstairs. So you've actually got three floors in this house. It's very warm when you first come in and cozy. Is this a closet? Uh, sort of. It's a water closet. That's your bathroom. <laughs> you've got of your toilet is, yeah. and shower in there. And you've got your sink over here by the door. It's kind of a strange thing to have in a living room. Toilet and shower. Huh. Could you shower while sitting on the I toilet? I think I could. I could just sit here. and It's got a. Do you a, a, need a shower chair, Jeff? <laughs> I, I'm going to age. <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally kidding. I'm never getting old. 
These are, these are cool. Cow print. Check them out. Kind of takes me back to Nashville. And actually, don't you have a vest that matches this? <laughs> I've never owned a vest in this right. pattern. I know you do. I love the natural light, but it is right on the highway. But that's what you get with urban living. Right, you are right downtown, which is what you're looking for. I don't think I'm gonna find a place closer to downtown, except maybe if I'm living in a van down by the river. Careful on these steps. Ooh. This is your sobriety test right here, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> Spiral staircases can take up as little as 12 square feet of floor space, but they're a challenge for kids, the elderly, and the tipsy. Plus, spirals don't create those tiny nooks and crannies for storage like conventional stairs do. This is another cozy little space. It's just the problem is hosting guests. As I'm planted here in Asheville, I want to get involved more in the community and hopefully have bigger parties, and I think it's going to be hard asking people to shimmy up and down these stairs, to be honest. Well, these doors actually open up and you have some indoor outdoor oh, cool. space. Awesome. Cool. Look at this big space out here. Oh, Very wow. Cool. Yeah. Definitely opens up the space a bit. I think you could get a table and some chairs out here and set it up and have a really nice outdoor eating area. Yeah, it would feel really European, you know? Yeah, a little Cafe Jeff, maybe some espresso, yeah. maybe get some tips from the neighbors. Yeah, <laughs> something to think about. Yeah. yeah. The kitchen is really compact, but I think I can make it work. And the spiral staircase is a nice touch. I just don't know if I would want to do it every day. I also don't know if I could ask guests or my parents to make that trek. I like the hardwood here. Oh, cool. Definitely some uh, continuity with the downstairs, the same paint color. Jeff's in the middle of touring a 500-square-foot tiny house in downtown Asheville, North Carolina, known affectionately as the Bird House. And there are clever architectural details everywhere. A little bit of the vaulted ceiling look there and all the windows, tons more natural light. Where's the closet? So it's actually right behind you underneath oh. here. Oh, cool. That's Do you nice. think I can fit all my clothes in here? You have four shirts, Jeff. <laughs> I think you can fit plenty of them. I think it's great. You can wash your four shirts over here. You have a combo washer and dryer. I love that the laundry is right up there in the bedroom. It's so convenient. You're not trekking up and down the stairs with a load of clothes. That's a great feature. Yeah, and I love this little front porch. Super cool. Adds a little extra outdoor space. I love how they planted that row of trees, which forms a really nice hedge. It really creates a little extra privacy. I think the kitchen is probably the best feature. I love how open it is. I love that it's a whole floor. Even though those doors flip open and that's nice, I still don't think it adds enough space for what I'm hoping for. My hope is to find a house with a little bit more entertaining space. Is that something you might be able to show us? Yeah, you know, I think I have just a place to show you. Awesome, perfect. It feels bigger than 500 square feet because yeah. it's so divided up. Mm -hmm. It's um, the multi-level. It's kind of a mind trick. Yeah, I liked that a lot. But I'm hoping to find something with a little bigger kitchen, a little okay. more functional kitchen. And you're trying to find yeah. something at 165. I mean, 165K, it's going to let me live below my means. Mm -hmm. And still buy me dinner after this. That's perfect. Absolutely. Keep it at 165. I like yep. it. Sarah's dinner might be in jeopardy with Rachel's next pick. By bringing Jeff to Chestnut Hills, she's showing him what's available if he could stretch on price and go a mile north of central Asheville. Is this it? Cool. Here we are at the Contemporary Cabin. It feels so good, don't let it go away. This property is 1,000 square feet and has all the amenities that you're looking for. There's just one catch. It's $55,000 over budget. Wait, how much? Ouch. $220,000. That's, that's way over budget. That hurts a little. Oh, wow. It feels so good. Don't let it go away. OK, OK. Wow, really opens up into everything. Is that a wood-burning fireplace? Yes. These wood slats, these are super cool. And a big, comfy couch. I could really see myself hanging here. This is amazing. Do you know if it comes in animal print just for Jeff? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. That would be a plus. The living room is gorgeous. I feel like everything just kind of flowed. Ooh, I love this farm table. You can invite all your friends over for ramen. <laughs> a ramen party. Be your ramen party, because that's all you're going to be able to afford to eat. 
Well, this would be a perfect space for entertaining because, like, it's a shotgun design. Like, no one has anywhere to run and hide. Everybody's like, together. stay together. And you've got a half bathroom. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Nice. I love that there's a bathroom right there because. In case your cooking goes wrong? No, because. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> because it's convenient to have a bathroom on every level, you know? Yeah. Modern kitchen. This is a beautiful kitchen. It's so functional. All the stainless. Plenty of space to make your ramen. <laughs> you gotta get over the ramen thing. Jeff, you could fit a tiny house in this kitchen. And if you wanna downsize, I'm worried that the space is gonna be too much. I just think there was a great design element to make the focus the kitchen. It's the most important part of the house. Okay. You've also got some additional entertaining space outside. Oh. Cool. Really opens up the space. This is really nice. And this couch is comfy and inviting. Ah, oh, you know, it's not a yard, but it's an awesome entertaining space. I could totally see me hanging out with friends and playing music and just, just enjoying that little extra space. Oh, nice. I like it, it maintains the hardwood floor. Cool, feels really spacious. I love the natural light. There's so many windows in here. Nice high ceilings, great natural light. Yeah, the wood panels, the modern look, that is beautiful, I love that. This is actually your closet space. Extra storage space, that's awesome. You've also got a full-size bath. With a nice pocket door. Ah, oh, I love pocket doors. Ooh, nice, full bath. Ooh, nice. Jeff and his touring buddy Sarah are looking for the perfect tiny home in Asheville, North Carolina. Someplace low maintenance and close to the music and action of downtown. It's got a nice bathtub. You can take Very some nice cool. baths in there. And Sarah, right behind you, you've got some more storage. Oh my gosh, another secret closet. Nice. The bathroom didn't wow me like the rest of the house, but it was adequate. We've seen two dramatically different properties. But I am really loving what I'm seeing in this place. It's pushing the limits. It's something I have to really think about. It's way over his budget, and I'm worried about trying to rein him in and remind him of what he's hoping to spend. Would it be possible for you to show me something more in my price range? I think I have just the right place in mind for you. Is it under budget? Under budget, perfect. Check it out. After 15 minutes of driving, the coffee shops and bars of Asheville are long gone. Wow. Where's Rachel taking us? I feel like we should have stopped for provisions. <laughs> we passed the end of the world like two or three miles ago. I mean, it, it's beautiful. It's just, this does not seem like a walking distance to downtown Asheville. <laughs> this would be a big transition for what I had, I've had in my mind. Yeah, it's gonna have to be pretty incredible for this to, to make any sense. Right. House three is in the town of Marshall, North Carolina. Population, 879 about 25 miles due north of Asheville. Ah, uh, this is badass. Welcome to the Mill House. Wow. It is an old 1940s mill house, and it actually has a working grist mill downstairs. Mmm, can already taste the homemade grits. It features 243 square feet of livable space upstairs. That's tiny. Yeah. It is tiny, but you asked me for tiny. Yeah. <laughs> the best part is it's $100,000. 65,000 on the budget? Yeah. Ooh, what's that? This is a Japanese cedar soaking tub. Oh, peace and tranquility after a hard day at work. Can I take a dip? <laughs> Let's see the inside of the house first. <laughs> OK. Oh, nice. This is cool. So it's kind of all together, but it doesn't feel claustrophobic at all. I love the ceiling. Yeah, so that's reclaimed wood from local sources. This is cool. It's like little mason jars. <laughs> that's a great idea. Is this copper? Yes, you've got copper countertops and beautiful. a cast iron farm sink. Oh, that's so cool, a cast iron sink. Yeah, that's old timey then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you got your two burner gas range. And a little fridge. It's, Mini fridge. Yeah, it's a little teeny. But hey, it's just me, you know? We got all these organic farmers around here. Heck, I don't even need a big refrigerator. I'll just have a lot of fresh produce all the time. I could totally see me plopping down here, enjoying a great meal. Looking at your uh, oh. milk. <laughs> and you've got a fireplace. Oh, my gosh. Great. 
How'd you do that? <laughs> does have some modern touches. Okay. This is cozy. That is some ambiance right there, yeah. my friend. After I finish my big plate of grits, I can just stumble onto the bed, enjoy the fire. Ah. Do you want us to leave you alone for a while? <laughs> Are you good? I need a couple hours now. <laughs> oh, is this the closet space? Yes. Oh, this is plenty for your, what, four and a half shirts, five <laughs> shirts? You know what you're getting me for Christmas. All shirts. <laughs> I'm just truly amazed at how much they packed into that room. There's so many cool little details and features. So another great design element you've got is this sliding barn door and that oh. leads you to your bathroom. Oh, nice. This is fantastic. Yeah, look, nice size washer and dryer. Look how big that shower is. Mm -hmm. I love that aesthetic. And they've carried the copper countertops oh, from the kitchen. Matching with the kitchen. I like the natural light coming in. So what the heck is this? Tiny door for a tiny home? Tiny door for a tiny home? <laughs> Guest room? <laughs> with her current pick, realtor Rachel Oloski has scooped Jeff and Sarah up from the middle of a tiny home search in downtown Asheville and plopped them down in the middle of a living fairy tale. It's actually a vacuum cleaner. Just for like in here? Nope. It'll stretch all the way out into the other You're room. You're kidding me. Show me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Stop pulling Jeez. it. Leave me now. <laughs> now Jeff has no excuses for the dust bunnies that live under his furniture. <laughs> You want to see the working grist mill? Yes. I've seen a lot of, like, old, defunct grist mills, but I've never seen one actually working. Like, in action. Yeah, and you have the potential to power your whole house with it. Go on hydroelectric. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Definitely a unique feature, yeah. The wheels are a-turning. <laughs> <laughs> I got to be honest with you. I had no idea that I could even consider something under 300 square feet, but I was like blown away. It's really an amazing space. And it comes in under budget. It's a little smaller than we talked about, but I could see you living out here, especially with that craftsman stuff that you love. I think it's a wonderful look. It, it feels very Jeff. It's given me a lot to think about, and we'll be talking to you soon. You made it hard for him. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. Take your time. We'll see you soon. All right. Thanks. Jeff and Sarah find a nearby lodge to make what is now a very difficult decision. I think I can go ahead and eliminate one. I've had some real reservations about the birdhouse. The main thing is the accessibility. Yeah. House one is priced at $175,000 and hits Jeff's target size of 500 square feet. It's the closest to downtown, but has a challenging spiral staircase. To be honest, I, I think you should go for the mill house. House three is a magical 243 square feet and is under budget at $100,000. It has beautiful outdoor space, but a very basic kitchen. I really love the contemporary cabin. It just has that wonderful modern design. House two is a five minute walk from downtown Asheville and is the biggest choice at 1,000 square feet. It's also way over budget at 220,000, but it's ready for entertaining and it's where Jeff's friends are. I understand why you love it. I think it's a beautiful place. I love it too. I don't love the price tag. Of course, it's a huge concern. It's a big concern. I mean, I feel like it's gonna be worth it in the long run because it's a more versatile space. It just has that wonderful modern design. I love that it's so open. And that kitchen has so much potential for having people over, opening up those doors, hanging out on that back space. But here's the thing, the mill house blows me away. I've never seen a tiny house in person or in magazines, anything on TV better than that. Yeah. I wish I could have both. I want to, I don't want, I want to win you the lottery. You can only have one. You I can only have the one, lottery. Jeff. I just don't know what to do. The mill house was so great. Yeah. So decision time, Chapman, what do you do? It's agonizing. Yeah. Not even Sarah's powers of persuasion can coax a decision from Jeff this quickly. But after weighing the pros and cons, it comes down to location and the perfect kitchen for entertaining. We can do anything. We can be anyone. Jeff splurges on his budget, and two months later, he's all moved in to the contemporary cabin. It's amazing. I'm so grateful that I was able to get so close to downtown. It was definitely worth going over my budget. You know, even if I have to make a few sacrifices, it's so worth it to get the house I want and to get settled in here. It's awesome. This house has really transformed my life. 
It feels so open and modern. It just has a really calm, like peaceful feeling to it. A really good vibe. I think Jeff has spent a lot more energy investing in a place rather than dreaming about a place. And it's been nice to see Jeff without roommates. I'm in the process of becoming a better cook. You know, I think Jeff's gonna be on a pasta budget for a little while, but I think in the long run, it's absolutely worth it. And I think the cost is not gonna be something years down the road that he's gonna regret. Richard, you do Carissa, right? No, it's all good, it, baby. Like Everybody knows that I'm pretty much always open and game for anything. People kind of walk in. Hey, what's up, Paulie? Hey! It's become a, a home base for a lot of other people. He's been able to create a wonderful community with it. On the Blue Ridge Mountains, there I'll take my stand. I know this house was a splurge, but I know it was a good investment. You get what you pay for, and I have everything that I wanted and more. So I know I made the right decision.